As advertised defensively in the first half, um, I thought Tashman is a, he's a man down there. I thought he played great, and uh, we feel fortunate to move on, and we're excited and looking forward to tomorrow night. Guys, if you could talk about the – they're up two in the second half. You go on a 14-0 run that basically puts the game away. What changed at that point for you guys during that run? What was – was there anything different? Well, I thought we struggled um, getting a rhythm offensively in the first half. I thought they did a good job of taking some things away. I thought their pressure bothered us uh, at a first stretch there in the second half. And then I thought Chris really got going in the second half, which is uh, often what happens when we struggle offensively. Chris comes to life, and everything else seemed to come to life with it. So uh, I thought Chris played great. He um, was very aggressive offensively in the second half and um, hit some tough shots, and I got us going. Front left. Uh, to any of the players, we're used to your football team coming down here, winning uh, championships in Salem. What does it mean to you guys to be one win away now from, from winning your own championship here in Salem? Uh, I think we came here, you know, we want to make a, make our basketball program nationally known, just like our football program is. I think that's what we uh, came down here to accomplish. Did you guys ever come here to watch the football team play in the title game, or are we always play, playing basketball that time? Of, uh... We're always playing. Yeah, it's in our season. Chris, it just seemed like you were in a really good rhythm in the ball game. It, it, you didn't have to force a lot of shots tonight, and I thought that was a big difference. Could you talk about that? Uh, well, you know, I definitely didn't want this to be my last game, so I know I had to step up and make some big shots and help my team stay in the game. So that's what I definitely did today. Chris, you got that second fall of about four and a half minutes left in the half. And were you, were you concerned about picking up that third fall, or did you just come on the second half and just play your game? I just came in the second half and played my game. I know that I got in foul trouble, and I know my team needs to be out there, so I definitely made sure I didn't pick up my third. Pat, offensively, you got that run going with, by able to simply put the ball in the basket, but defensively, you held them scoreless for a good stretch. That's been the theme for this team all year. Talk about having that anchor defensively that, that's helped your team have success in it. Well, I, I thought there were a number of keys defensively. I thought, first of all, I thought Cody Odegaard did a great job of taking Carriker out of the game. Uh, he, you know, he obviously had an unbelievable tournament run with his shooting. And uh, one, one of our, our goals going into the game was we felt like if we could take away some of their perimeter scoring, we didn't know if they had enough interior scoring to beat us. Uh, so he was one, th one element that we were, we were worried about and we did a great job on. And then Cates is obviously a great player. And um, probably the, the number that jumps out on me on his stat line is he only played 28 minutes. You know, typically in games, um, he was at 38, 37, 36 in the tournament run. And I thought we made him really work hard. I thought Alex did a great job. I mean, that was a great battle between those two guys. And I think we took something out of him. And I think that was a big key for us. Eric and Alex, let me ask you guys this. When Chris gets going the way he does, especially in the second half, just tell me from your perspective what it's like just being sort of being around a guy like that that could take over a game the way he does. Well, I think uh, half the time we're looking to get out of the way so no one can double. You know, we want to be available for open shots when he does get doubled. We want to make sure he has space to operate. But uh, when he gets going, we obviously just want to get him the ball because not many uh, not many guys can stop him. So. Yeah, when he gets going, we just play off all his energy and it helps the team around us. Uh, the second half, he got going big time, and we just went on a run and kept building off his energy. All right. Um, <clears throat> might fall under the uh, Mendoza line, but you finished with a double-double tonight. It's pretty big out of your position. Ten rebounds and ten points. Yeah, at the half, uh, Miller came in the locker room and told us we have to, uh, the guards have to go in and rebound. Big, the bigs are doing all they can to push out their big guys, and we had to come on and help them rebound. So. Back left, yeah. Coach, I want to get back to the defensive side that you were talking about a few moments ago. One of the things that seemed to be really strong was the help defense, both in terms of doubling down on their post, but also when they tried to pass out of the post. Talk a little bit about the rotation that you're and how well the team I thought our rotation was solid. What we wanted to do is when we watched MIT on tape, when they're able to run their offense at the three-point line, they're, they're very good. They, they, they have good angles. They enter. They finish. And we wanted to get them off the three-point line, especially in their high-low action. We wanted those to be longer passes, uh, especially, you know, Edmonds had to work against Tashman. He's given up some size there. 
and I thought what happened is those were long enough passes, they had to put enough air on them that we were able to get deflections. Guys were able to rotate and get back because they, we just spread them out. Their offense wasn't running, I'm sure, at the spacing that they, they would have liked it to run. <clears throat> Um, you guys held them to only one offensive rebound in the second half and no second chance points. Um, just talk about, you, you said the guards crashed in there for rebounds. Talk about what you did different from them. They out rebounded you in the first half, but you dominated that in the second half. I think tonight, and, and I don't want to speak for them, you'd have to ask them, but, but I, I really felt like they, they wore down as the game as the game went on. I, th I thought we took a great hit from them in the first half. We survived it. We felt like we were all right. And I just sensed that you know, they were struggling just with their intensity. I thought they, they wore down as, as the game went on. And I, and I think that's just one of the, the great advantages we have of playing in our league and playing the schedule that we play is that we play tough physical games all the time, and, and we're accustomed to it. Pat, you had a chance to take a little bit of a look at Cabrini. Are your first thoughts for tomorrow night? They're good. <laughs> we, better bring, we better bring our defense tomorrow. We better bring our transition defense. and. They have a lot of weapons. Um, they scored the ball well from the three-point line. Obviously, they have great penetrators. Um, so we have a lot of work to do tonight. I'll say that much. How difficult is it, Pat, to go from playing MIT, where they play, for the most part, a half-court game, to Cabrini, who does almost the exact opposite? In such a short turnaround, it, it's fine. You know, at this point of the season, you've played against every style and every you know arrangement of front line, backcourt, whatever the case may be. It's um, obviously, we've prepared for all three teams uh, beforehand, so we just have to go hit Cabrini a little extra harder tonight and, and really get in depth and make sure our guys are dialed in. Um, but we, we've played against a lot of dribble drive. I shouldn't say a lot. We've played against enough dribble drive, probably not with their athleticism and quickness, but um, we've at least seen it. Cabrini looked like uh, the more frenetic the pace, the better they were. Is uh, tempo of the game? a big thing that you guys have to look at tomorrow night? I think Temple, the game will be important tomorrow night. I think if they score, what are they averaging how many points? I know it's a lot. If they score 90, we're in trouble. <laughs> Additional questions? Gentlemen, thank you for your